Hi everyone, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path. So this is the first part of my new camp setup. So a um, couple of things have inspired this. Um, the recent variety trip, I found out why a lot of people don't use tall tents, which are great for standing up in, but not so great in high winds. Um, even more recent um, trip, I lost that tent. Whole other story. Um, I was already thinking about a, a replacement. So what I've opted to go for is the Oztent RS1 King Single Stretcher and the Oztent RS1 Swag. Reasonably heavy, but quite stable. That's what they say. And um, easy to set up, allegedly. So this is my first time literally unboxing. I will do a full review on this after I've used it for a while. Um, the stretcher is a reasonably weighty unit. Um, Net weight 15 kilos in the box here, probably about 18 kilos. So let's get it out of the box. Okay. So it comes comes with this carry bag. Um, it's not canvas, but it feels pretty heavy duty. Uh, set up videos for this but haven't read the manual so it's going to be interesting so protective covering there okay all right so there is some additional packing here that obviously you're not going to have when you're first, when you're normally using it. So this is just protecting the legs. Okay. There's another one there. And one in the middle. Okay. Now from memory, you fold this out like a big one. Okay. That will be the end bars. All else fails, we've got the instructions. That's right. These um so these end ones actually fold right the way around. And apparently, it's as simple as lifting it up. Well, that's big. And um, it does work largely as advertised. So, I remember from looking at the videos of these, there's a long one of these and a short one. Start with the short one. So these go through the ends. Okay, not really sure what that rattle is. And add some tension to it. Okay. There's a right way and a wrong way. tied up already. I'm really not sure what that rattle is. That could drive me nuts. Anyway, I'll look into that so that I can find out. I'm in the office here. It's been closed up. I should have turned the AC on. So this end requires, okay, 
Now I've managed to put that in the wrong way again. Two from two. Okay. So we'll put that side on. This end has a handle. Okay. Now the only thing left to do is um, some additional stay supports. There's one. There they are. Okay, so they're folded up bes beside the uh, actual mattress here. Okay, little hard to spot. Okay. I'm going to say I hope these uh, stabiliser stays get easier to attach. Okay, that one was a lot easier. First time set up, not following the instructions. Whoa! That's actually, even without the mattress, that's actually pretty comfy. Okay, a little bit tricky to get up out of especially if you're a big guy like me. Um, it is low graded for someone a bit heavier than average like me. Um, that's a big stretcher. Gonna get the tent on top of here, see what that looks like. Okay, so I've gone and got the RS1 swag, King single. Um, it's an unboxing, but I've already cut the box. Um, this is a lot more bulky. Um, but lighter actually than the stretcher. Obviously the stretcher has got the metal frame. Um, meant to mention with the stretcher too, 200 kg weight rating, 440 pounds, and a five year warranty. So like a lot of OS 10 gear, really well made um, and should last really well. All right, let's get into this. I'll get rid of the cardboard. Okay, here's the RS1 unboxed. Um, comes with this really good quality bag, it feels like a light canvas, um, little hand, three lots of handles and the middle handles velcro together. Again, I've seen this set up on video by others, haven't read the manual recently myself and haven't tried to set it up yet. So first things first, Let's get it out of the bag. Okay, so the, the, the mattress is uh, separate to the bag. Okay, and the, and the bag does unzip all the way down. So yeah, the mattress is kind of strapped in. There's the manual. Okay, so clips either end for the mattress. And for those of you that own OS10 products, um, this is my first OS10 product, so far from an expert. Okay, come back to the mattress. Get rid of the bag. Sounded like some pegs were in there. Okay, that strap's gonna come in handy later. 
Now, from memory with the Oztec gear, these are the awning poles, so this does have an awning. We'll come back to those. One thing I remember is this is your front side. So all things being equal, we fold out the B side and we fold out the A side. This is looking promising. Then we stand it up. Okay, use the arrow then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I successfully made that look a lot harder than it actually needs to be. Okay, so there it is set up. Mattress is all one piece. And looks like it has a right side and a downside. So you can see, maybe you can see on the bottom there, there's the same. I'm going to say that's the bottom. Really good coverage there. Okay. This is the awning, obviously comes rolled up, so you can leave that rolled up. Some vents here. Yeah, alright. Let's get in and Test it. Yeah, right. Okay. This is really comfy. <laughs> okay. That's going to look great on video, I'm sure. Really comfortable 10 second test there. Um, so far, really like it. Um, does actually come up pretty high set up. Um, it's a good height to get in and out of. This is a really thin, pretty soft mattress, but together with the stretcher, actually really comfortable. I think this will be quick to set up. Obviously, not super quick today, it's my first time. Um, but, um, yeah, really happy with it. Now, I'm not going to do it today, but for the sake of completeness, I will show you. Each of the corners here they actually have eyelets, and this stretcher, this stretcher comes with anchor straps specifically designed for this swag to go on top of it, so you can tie it down. Um, so even in high wind environments, the swag's not going to blow away off the stretcher. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do a pack up video just now, actually going to, given I've just unboxed it, going to leave it set up um, just for now. Um, probably will do a pack up video at some point if that's something you guys want to see and we'll do a long term review. Hopefully in the next week or two I'll get some time to get away and um, I'll give this thing its first road test. Even with the stabilizers it does move a little bit. Um, but um, I think that's going to be fine. So anyway. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, catch you in the next one.